Vilch is in a dreadful mood. I heard someone played a trick on him, but no one knows who did it. I was reading a piece in the Daily Prophet about the cursed vaults, and Snape yanked the paper out of my hands. We were right about the back black quill at the three broomsticks, really being my brother's notebook, but it's in some sort of code. Do you think you can decipher it, Rowan? Merlin's beard! This looks exactly like the secret message we found in that frozen room our first year at Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Do you think your brother left that message too? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Jacob was hunting the cursed vaults. Now we're following his trail. Maybe he wants me to follow him, so he's leaving me clues. You deciphered the last message, so you should be able to work out this one too, right? Yes, but a lot of these symbols are different. I'll need your help to research the answer. I worked out the code. Well, good job, Rowan. I knew you could do it. Well, so why are we standing now? Uh, but uh, what does it say? These boggets must have something to do with the curse protecting the next vault, which means someone found it first. If I don't hurry, Hogwarts is doomed. Someone must have tampered with that vault again, MZ. We have to find your brother's secret room. I can decipher the rest of the notebook, but you should take someone with you. Bill, Penny, or Ben. Maybe Penny? Friendship points? Penny probably wants some revenge after what happened with that boggin in Herbology. She'll help me find that room. Oh yeah, I forgot about that! Oh, game me didn't, apparently. How did you find out about your brother's secret room, MZ? Uh, through Rowan and her coding. He kept records of his search for the cursed vaults. Madame Rose Murder at the Three Broomsticks gave me his old notebook. Oh, and that too. Rowan helped me decipher it, and we found out that my brother was using this room for his research. We'll find it, MZ. I know my way around the castle. Could that be it? I don't know, we were just conveniently just walking up to a door. Uh, well, there's a strange padlock on the door. It has two keyholes. Well, that's bizarre. Two keys? We should be able to use a spell to get past this lock. Uh, yeah, it's Alohomora. Not for Lependo, what is that gonna do? Uh, no better spell to unlock something than the unlocking spell. Durr. Alohomora. It didn't open. It must be sealed with magic. Let me give it a go. A penny, you just, didn't you just say that it was sealed with magic? Uh, Flipendo, why are you trying Flipendo? Ah, huh? uh, it's no use, Samzy. There's something written on the lock. Property of Tulip Karasu? I've heard of Tulip Karasu. She's a Ravenclaw in our year. She's a rebel to be sure. She's always in detention. I think I already know Tulip from the special side quests. Uh, do you know where I can find her? I know she spends a lot of time studying alone in the Transfiguration classroom. We'll need her help to get into this room. And this is how I'll probably get to know her properly. But if I'm going to get into the room where my brother was researching the cursed vaults, I need Tulip Karasu to unlock that door. Look! There she is! What are you going to do, MZ? Make her help or ask nicely? No, I'm just going to ask nicely. I'll explain the situation and ask nicely. If she's reasonable, she'll help us. But what if she doesn't? I hope this works! Same Penny. Excuse me, Tulip? Hi, I'm MZ Spiritbrook. I know your time is valuable and you're probably very busy, but I really need your help. Little flower smells so sweet, so soft and delicate. Is she writing a poem or something? You didn't mention that she's so... eccentric. Did you hear what I said, Tulip? I'm very busy. Talk to Dennis until I'm finished. Really? We're gonna talk with your toad? Most of the time, uh, who's Dennis? Penny... Uh, croak? <laughs> That's Dennis. What is that? It's a toad. 
A toad. His name is Dennis. Wish I already knew from the side quest. I know what a toad is. What's the thing strapped to its back? It's a dung bomb from Zonkos. I know because Tonks always sneaks them under my pillow. I don't smell anything. You will when it explodes. Tulip, how do I disarm this dung bomb? I can't just give you the answers to my test. I need to know that you're worthy of my help. Oh, so she's challenging us. I disarmed the dung bomb. Did we? No, it's still on Dennis's back. <laughs> I assume you would. Disarming a dung bomb is nothing compared to breaking the curse on a cursed vault. Oh, yeah, that, that's kind of my specialty. Curses and cursed vaults. With some help. I was quite jealous, to be honest. I've always wanted to be told off in front of the entire school at a welcoming feast. Why? Because rules are made to be broken, and Hogwarts has far too many rules. You inspired me, MZ Spirit Brook. I knew I had to be the next one to open a cursed vault. I immediately scoured this castle for clues until I found the abandoned room Jacob Spiritbrook used to research the vaults. When I found your brother's room, I fashioned a lock with two keys so no one else could find it. I kept one key and agreed to give the other to my accomplice. Who's your accomplice? I didn't know you would have an accomplice. Wait, is Dennis your accomplice? Or are you talking about a human being? Who is your accomplice? Yeah, who? I need to know I can trust you before I tell you that, MZ Spirit Brook. Meet me in the Great Hall. Why should I work with you, MZ Spirit Brook? I have information I can fight, or I'm just like you. Um, maybe. Well, I'm not really much of a fighter, but. Let's try. Maybe this one? We have a lot in common, Tulip. We both break the rules when we have to get what we want. Yes, I think try and sway with her. Like with something more common. You make a fair point. Give me a chance. Trust me enough to tell me about your accomplice. It's not that simple, MZ Spirit Brook. You have to earn my trust. I don't know if I like you yet, MZ Spirit Brook, but I trust you. I am honored that I have your trust. Then, who's your accomplice? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Marilla, of all people, Marilla Snide, my enemy. Why her? You seem too smart to trust Marilla. <laughs> Marilla is a genius witch. You might not like her personality, but you have to acknowledge her skill. That being said, Marilla and I had an unfortunate falling out, but she still has one of the keys to your brother's room. Oh, so she can't also enter the room without your key. The question is, how do we get Marilla's key? Challenge, reason, or trick? I'll just talk to her. I'm sure I can convince her to give me the other key. Ah. Uh, I'm too kind, but we know she won't. I suppose you could if you promised her something in return. Oh yeah, favor. Eye for an eye type of deal. Give me time to come up with the best plan and we'll get Marilla's key together. Wait for my owl, MZ Spirit Brook. I'll come up with something to turn Hogwarts on its head. You made it! Good! Marilla is over there holding court. Did you come up with a way to get back the key to my brother's room? Yes, but her cronies Ismelda and Barnaby are tough and ruthless. We need to watch them and come up with a proper plan. We've searched everywhere. We're never going to find a curse vault. We should cast that cru crucious curse on MZ Spiritbrook and her friends. Torture makes everyone talk. I would rather if you didn't, Ismelda. Talking to you is torture. You have some serious issues, Ismelda. Well, I can agree with you on that. We should ask Dumbledore. He's really smart. But didn't Dumbledore say not to go looking for vaults, Barnaby? 
Dumbledore spent half his welcome speech telling us to stay away from the vaults. I think it was mostly targeted to me, but yeah. We could give him Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. I heard he likes Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. Oh, Barnaby. <laughs> You're trying to be, like, with kindness. Sometimes I wonder if your brain was replaced with a Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean. <laughs> oh, Marilla. Do you think we should get rid of Marilla's cronies first or go straight for Marilla? No, actually... It's in numbers. So get rid of the cronies first, and then he the head of the snake straight on. We're never going to get to Marilla unless we take care of Ismela and Barnaby first. Yeah, if we find a way to distract them. Smart thinking, MC Spiritbrook. There may be hope for you yet. Marilla's cronies sound too stupid and violent to respond to reason, or even brute force. We need a diversion to lure Barnaby and Ismelda away from her. But how? I've been working on a plan to chase off Marilla's cronies with the ultimate dung bomb, but I'll need your help. First, I'll need stink sap from herbology class. We'll also need Duro, the hardening charm. It will give the shell of the dung bomb some heft. Finally, the banishing charm, the Pulso, it will send my ultimate dung bomb flying right into Marilla's lap. We'll need one final item to complete our plan. It may take some time to locate, but I'll let you know when I found it. Be ready, MC Spiritbrook. We'll only get one attempt at this.